What's going on guys? I just wanted to make a, a quick little video about my my podcast recently and um you if you watch the new one um and the old one they've been kind of lacking towards the end and the audio cuts out and I really want to apologize for that cuz that's completely on me and what I'm going to go ahead and do is I've caught it on the most recent one and I had to upload it because so much of the content was already on there so um you can, well, I don't have anyone with me because it's really late and I have some, uh, the topics right here that we would have talked about and we would, did talk about, but the audio, audio did not, uh, come across the way we wanted. And I, I, I apologize for that 100%. That's on me. Um, so what I wanted to talk about is to basically the topics and I'm again, I'm really sorry, but I'm giving you guys this. It's just my opinion right now. Next week, if you guys saw the description for the most recent podcast, it's um basically the it's basically a whole bunch of cool stuff. You should go check it out. Um, but it's a whole bunch of gaming news that we'll be talking about in this part of the podcast. But no one's here with me because I didn't catch it because I was trying to uh, post it and I realized it was bad. And I'm sorry again about the original podcast. It's a learning experience for me. And I do really want to apologize for that. So um, let's go ahead and talk about the ET codes uh, that were found. And, I mean, this was pretty cool because Atari basically has said that, I mean, well, it's confirmed. ET cartridges were found in the middle of the desert. And I think that's really cool because I think, well, a game has never sunk that bad to where you have to bury cartridges um, in the ground. Um... Alright, so then let's go ahead and talk about figure games. Is What what uh, we're going to talk about in these is uh, Skylanders Trap Team and Disney Infinity Mobile Superheroes were announced this week. And what I wanted to basically talk about is all these cash grabs or this Activision, you know, really, and uh, Disney really, you know, care about and they're trying to make something new. Now, on Disney's side... They really haven't added anything new besides new characters. They're expecting you to basically pay for Marvel characters and a new game. Which, I mean, it's a cash grab, and Activision's worse. But what Activision has go ahead and done here is they have added, I guess, new toys or new elements. It's another cash grab, and that's my opinion on it. It was most of the uh, opinions on the podcast um, uh, about it was the... Just basic, um, how these are cash grabs, and now I, I, they are cool, and I'm not gonna deny that they're cool, and it's a kind of a really revolutionary idea to put a toy on a portal and it come to life in the video game. It's it's cool, and I I bought a few, I bought all three Skylanders games because I'm a big fan of Spyro, and but as you've noticed is that. The, as the games go on, it's become less and less and less about Spyro and more about the Skylanders. And it's a shame because Sky Spyro has not gotten its own individual platform in a really, really long time. And I would love, love for him to get its actually own full game. Um, so, I mean, yeah, that was basically what we talked about for that segment is how the Disney... If I have to pick one, I pick Skylanders over Disney Infinity. I really do enjoy the... I mean, I've played... I beat Giants, like, almost a year after launch. Right around Swap Force coming out, I just was beating Giants because I played a lot of Giants at launch, and then I didn't really care about it. Um, But then I bought Swap... My sister got Swap Force. Because she enjoys the Skylanders game, and she hasn't even beat Swap Force, and she hasn't really played it all that much. We haven't bought a lot of the figures either. Um, so, yeah, that's just my opinion on them. Um, I really do think that the cash, this was, uh, those are cash grab type things now. And now, while I do agree that they're both pretty cool, and I, but I just believe Activision Skylanders bring more to the table than uh, what... They were originally planning. Um, so yeah, that's pretty much it. I think that it's going to be pretty pretty cool uh, to, I think, you know, 
see these games, they're seeing them grow and seeing the revolutionary ideas. I do call them revolutionary because I do believe they are revolutionary, but they're just cash grabs at the end of the day by Activision and Disney to suck as much money. And uh, Jay brought up a good point. I mean, with all four games for Skylanders, and if you bought all the characters and all that stuff, all four games and everything is probably going to run you about I would say right now probably over a thousand dollars and that's major just cash grab the game series has just been kind of dropping it is like one of the most popular games in the world i believe is skylanders so what are you gonna do but that was pretty much it what we talked about on the figure game side um but then we're going to talk about microtransactions really quickly um microtransactions have been announced on the on golden warfare for the Xbox One and Xbox 360, and I, I say right now, it doesn't ruin the game because it's been out for a while, but the PC has been announced sometime in June, I don't remember the exact date, I'm sorry about that, and the PS3 and PS4 um, versions. Um, so I do apologize again on, the, on this, but I, I just wanted to give you guys something. Um, but microtransactions, I don't, what I think we all came to a consistent on is that, um, that microtransactions are okay if you do them correctly, like, um, like Jay brought up how Activision has recently been doing all these, like, extra packs for extra slots, all these camos and all these voice packs, that that's just stupid and it doesn't need to even be there, which I don't. I don't, I don't fully agree with, as long as it doesn't give a person an unfair advantage in a competitive multiplayer game, then I'm, I don't care. If it's cooperative or campaign, fine, you can spend your money how you want it, I don't, I'm not here to, to be, have a problem with you. I'm just here to play the game like everyone else. But I do have a problem with it if it's something that gives a person an unfair advantage in a competitive multi-like I do agree, like, maybe the extra slot, like, extra loadouts were pretty, pretty bold on that. I mean, um, that's just my opinion on that, um, so, I mean, that's pretty much the end for that, um, we basically, but if, if the microtransactions, if they launch with the PC and the PS3 and PS4 version, they will be, that game will be ruined on those consoles, because, Everybody will just keep buying, you know, the packs, and in Team Vanquish, you can get those characters, and in Gordon's and Graveyards, you get, you get that, and you can just have unfair characters, and it's unfair to people that don't just simply want to pay it. So, that's, again, we came to a consistence on that. Um, then we talked about uh, Microsoft uh, having some exclusive shows to Xbox Live Gold members, and how the Steven Spielberg film is uh, being possibly put onto Showtime, and I do think this is cool. It, it, Showtime, I, I, as you can see, I'm a huge, 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 huge Halo fan. It's one of my all, it's my all-time favorite game, Halo 3. God, I love that game. Um, but, yeah, Microsoft, um, Microsoft, I think, I don't know if I'll watch all the nine shows. I'll probably just watch the Halo one and probably the E.T. Uh, cartridge one. So, But, I mean, I'm okay with it. it. It sounds awesome. It's something to give more Microsoft uh, uh, Xbox One buyers uh, more bang for the buck with Xbox Live Gold. So that's always good. And I don't know if you'll have to pay for them. I'm just, right now, not a lot of details. So I'm pretty sure it's all about... Um, the if your Xbox Live Gold, you get these uh pokes. So as long as that's the case, I'm okay with it. And then Halo, uh, the Halo thing being put onto Showtime, which is great. I love. I have Showtime, so I'm pretty sure how that. And again, all speculation here. Uh, how it was gonna work is that uh, if you have Showtime, you're gonna watch it first, and then it will eventually go like on. Xbox Live Gold, so I'm assuming, like, people that have the Showtime, it's probably going to be, like, almost like a Twitch podcast or, so, like, a Twitch thing, like, how it, you get to watch it live there, first there, and then it'll eventually be uploaded to YouTube, 
So I think that's probably how it will work. Um, so yeah, and then we talked about ME4 being in development, which I'm pumped. I love ME4. I, well, I love, I haven't, I can't say I love ME4. I, I probably will. But um, what this is is going to be a great, great, great game if done correctly. As long as Shepard doesn't come back in a stupid way, I'm great. I'm okay with it. Now, I don't see how any of your actions will carry over, because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a brand new trilogy, and yeah, it's definitely a new trilogy, but I'm interested to see if your actions from Shepard will carry over, because it's either that or you start a new adventure, which I'm okay with anything, but no Shepard. No Shepard. You do not play as Commander Shepard. It's no. Uh-uh. That does not fly with me. Um, and it was talking about how, it basically the same thing, we don't want a Shepard, we want a brand new trilogy. Um, I don't know how it's going to work. Uh, so, that's just all speculation. It's, ME4 is in mid-development, basically. So that's really awesome, I'm pumped for it. Um, and then the last thing we talked about is the COD trailer, that is Call of Duty Advanced Warfare. It's basically Sledgehammer's new Call of Duty. Um, so, basically, you see you see hoverbikes, exoskeletons, like this thing that turns you, that I guess kind of sticky gloves or something that you can just climb up onto building. Now, again, it's a COD trailer. It looks, they're trying to sell the game to you. But at the end of the day, it's the same thing over and over and over and over again. I'm not saying this try to be mean to Activision or try to be mean to Call of Duty fans. Something's gotta change. And I mean something yeah, it's just something's gotta change here. I mean it it's just can't be done. Having that game being sold after year after year after year, it's it's just annoying at this point. Just get let it die. It's it's been that game has had a good long run, and I'm not saying, but at least do something revolutionary. The multiplayer is going to be the same thing. Repackage your guns and all that. Advanced warfare. I I do enjoy the modern warfare series. I I will I will. I'm probably in the minority in a lot of this, but I prefer the Modern Warfare series over the Black Ops series because I just think the Black Ops series is kind of bland overall, except for zombies. But I, I have a more fun time in the campaign, which the campaign, I'm not saying is phenomenal by any means in Modern Warfare, but it is better than the one in Black Ops. And then the one in... And then the multiplayer, I think it's just better. i never seen Sledgehammer, but... I like Infinity Ward over Treyarch. That's basically what I'm saying here. Infinity Ward, I'm in the minority there. I, Infinity Ward is my favorite. So, I might buy a card game every three, every three, two years or so. I, every two or three years, I might buy the Infinity Ward and Sledgehammer. But I don't. I think I'll pass on Treyarch's multi. So, yeah. Um, it's the same thing, I think. New Year. With a... Just kind of repackage thing. But, I don't know. Maybe they'll surprise us all. Um, but that's it for this one, guys. I just wanted to give you guys the basic gaming portion of the podcast. I felt bad, and I just wanted to give you guys something to watch. I Again, I feel crappy about it. I wanted to give you guys... And the reason, and you, probably a lot of you are asking, why did you publish? Why did you put that out when um you when you knew that it was... Because I'll, sh I'll I'll just give it to you guys straight. I I look at something and I I am I don't I'd rather give you guys something than nothing. Is basically what it's all gonna come down to. If I work forty five minutes on something and uh I can give you thirty thirty minutes of it or nothing, I'd rather give you guys thirty minutes than nothing. And that's just my opinion on it. I'd rather give you guys something rather than nothing. And I know that may sound weird or something that 
that not a lot of people would say, but that's just my opinion, is that when I get the chance to do video, I don't get a lot of chances to do videos. And the reason I brought the podcast to the channel is because there's not enough wrestling pay-per-views and there's not enough um, game with AAA titles out or something that you would actually care about for me to give you it. And, you know, I haven't, I didn't put up a video all that week and then 30 minutes of something, I'd rather give you guys, guys, 30 minutes of quality of something rather than nothing. And again, I say, I said in the description, it's a learning process for me and I'm going to try to cut down the podcast to around 30 minutes. This time I'm going to make sure all the audio is in there. So, uh, I hope you guys can forgive me on that. Um, hit that subscribe button, please. It always helps. And I promise you the podcast will be getting better. Um, so yes, uh, peace. See you guys next week for the podcast. Um, maybe in a video in between. Uh, so I'll see you guys next time and uh, later.